In this video, we are going to show you how to install and commission the Fronius Backup Controller. With the new Fronius Backup Controller, you have now the possibility to have a very simple and compact full free phase switch over possibility in your household. So the backup controller will now fully automatic switch over to backup power mode whenever the public grid fails. The controller itself includes already all the components that you need for a full backup power solution for an automatic switch over. So that means that even the FRT capability is included and you don't need any external switch over boxes and any components for the full automatic switch over. Due to the protection functions integrated in the Fronius inverter, you have now the possibility to have a very rapid switch off time in the inverter and therefore an upstream RCD in the supply line to the inverter is no longer required. That means that your main RCD in the AC installation is sufficient to protect your household. However, please make sure to install this RCD after the backup controller so that it that it is operable during backup power times and that it, um, uh, that it secures your household even during backup power times. The backup controller is now capable of having a rated current of 35 amps. So please make sure always to check back with your local grid supplier if you need a three pole or a four pole separation. And please note that especially when ordering the controller to order the right variant. If you require a higher current for a system, for a household system, for example, please note that you can either use our Fronius backup power switch. So that means it is capable of doing up to 63 amps. Or you can alternatively run other loads in parallel past the backup controller to make sure that these loads are being operated in grid parallel mode only. And when emergency power backup power is active, these loads are excluded from the backup power system. Please also note that you need to do a fusing of the controller with a max up to 35 amps to make sure that there is no damage and harm for the backup controller. So let's start with the cabling of the backup controller. Please note that we now have a demo installation and of course in a real installation you need to watch all the national standards and norms. In this video we are talking about the backup controller 3PN that means including the neutral contactor disconnection. Please note to always talk to your local grid supplier and make sure if you need a neutral conductor disconnector or not. If you don't need a neutral conductor disconnected, then please watch our video about the backup controller 3P. That means that uh, all three phases are disconnected but not the neutral conductor. You will find the video in the video description. In our case, we are now working with the backup controller 3PN, so including the neutral contactor disconnection. And for installation purposes, we are starting directly here at the grid connection point at the Fronius smart meter. So we come with three phases to connect the L1, L2, L3 of the Fronius smart meter. In our case, we now have here a Fronius smart meter 65 amps free phase. And from there on, we go with three phases directly to our backup controller. On the downside of the backup controller, you will find three faces here. You find plug L1, L2, L3. And next to it, on the right hand side, you now find here the neutral contactors. Please note, there are two neutral contactors installed. However, for normal installation purposes, you only need one neutral connector. The second neutral connector can be used if you wish to install non-backup loads that shouldn't be included in the backup power system. For this purpose, you can then use the second neutral connector for the non-backup loads. Next to it, there is then a PE connection for the protective earth cable. On the top side of the backup controller, we then go on with the backup power loads. So that means that we have L1, L2, L3 and neutral contactors. As you can see, all the contactors are double-sided, so there are two L1, L2, L3 and neutral contactors. Please note, you can use them optionally to directly install the Fronius inverter to the second plug that you find here. You don't need to do this. If you wish to, you can also connect the inverter cable directly in your AC installation. However, these contactors can be used to directly connect 
the uh, AC cable to the inverter. On the left side, you will find the neutral contactor and it is written down max one amp. And this can be used to set the neutral contactor to the Fronius smart meter. For the Fronius smart meter, you always need to have a measurement neutral contactor and this can be directly cabled to the backup controller without the need of having an extra clamp in your AC installation. Of course, this is also optional. On the second side, we now want to talk about the data communication. And for the data communication, we first start up with our Modbus RTU485 connection coming from the Fronius smart meter to the backup controller. Please note within the backup controller, you have the communication ports M plus, M minus and ground contactor. And you can use these connection ports optionally to drive your data communication cable from the smart meter directly into the backup controller. And from there on, go on with the CAT cable directly to your Fronius inverter. This should give you a possibility to take only one cable to the inverter. However, if you wish to, you don't need to use the plugs. You can go directly from the smart meter to your inverter also. On the other hand side, the communication ports that you need to have for the backup controller, they are called input 6, input 7, IO0 and plus 12 volt. So these four cables are being used to give the backup controller a signal that it should start backup mode. And on the other hand side, to give the inverter a feedback that backup mode is enabled. So these three or four contacts are then written down on this data communication interface that you can see down below here. And please cable them regarding to the installation manual. Last but not least, you will find a little interface on the left side of the backup controller. And these two LED lamps, they will give you an instant hint which mode is active right now. The backup controller will now automatically switch over from grid parallel mode into backup power mode whenever the public grid fails. And therefore you have two LEDs, one LED for the grid parallel mode and one LED for the backup power mode. And whichever mode is enabled, the correlating LED will light up. The second side of installation is now the commissioning. And the commissioning of the backup power solutions I want to show you directly in our web interface of the Gen24+. Plus. You start the configuration process directly under the point device configuration and then under the topic function and IOs. Please note to always log in with your technician account since you need to be technician to alternate these settings. Down below here you find the point backup power and we need to activate backup power functionality on the inverter with this switch here. And after that in the drop down menu you can now start the configuration. First of all we are switching to in our case full backup functionality and then we can set a backup power nominal voltage in our case for example 230 volts as well as the SOC warning level and the reserve capacity can be set in this mask. On the right hand side, we have our digital IOs and please note, we always recommend you to use the default settings. So pin zero, pin seven and pin six for the activation of backup interlock, for the backup interlock feedback, as well as for the open grid relay feedback. Since these are the numbers that are also written down on the backup controller, it's always the easiest choice to stay with the default values. So please make sure to configure all these three IOs and when you are done, you can check back the configuration on the right hand side of the page. And when you have that, hit the save button to conclude the commissioning. After this commissioning step, your solution is now ready to use and you can now use the backup power uh, functionality with your new Fronius backup controller.